In this exercise, we are going to use the sample MEP project located in your common folder. From your startup screen, click on Open and browse to your common folder. Open the file Sample MEP Project. The default building type settings are defined in your project template. Revit MEP does come with a set of defaults. So let's take a look at what they are. From the Analyze tab, click on the small arrow adjacent to Reports and Schedules. This shows me a list of building types. And if I select one, it shows the default area per person, heat gain, whether sensible or latent, lighting load density, power load density, and all the other data fields associated with building analysis. These are the figures that can be changed, so your project template could start you with figures that are different with these. In here we can also look at the occupancy schedule and adjust these figures if necessary. As you adjust those figures, you can see how the graph changes as well. You can rename these occupancy schedules, you can duplicate them, and you can create new. So that's for building type. We also have space type. So these are specific spaces that cover the majority of building uses, along with their specific energy requirements and occupancy schedules. As you can see here, these are all fully customizable. The crucial part of this is actually having your project template set up correctly before you start the project so you don't have to come through here and pick the particular settings and then start changing them. These should be predefined and ready for your use.